Hey y'all, this is Zach from Hills Under Pressure. All right, tonight we're gonna to be making some smoked macaroni and cheese. Now, normally how you do this, you make the mac and cheese the way you regularly would, and then you put it in a smoker for about 20, 30 minutes to get that, that smoke infused flavor. But we're gonna do it all in our pressure cooker tonight. So what I've got is I've got some, uh, I think it's a pound of large elbow noodles. I've got four cups of chicken broth. I've got smoked Gouda cheese with bacon really really good if you don't like gouda you can use whatever smoked cheese you want um i just happen to like gouda this is infused with bacon so this is this is really good uh, i've got these half of this box of uh, cream cheese mustard and uh, garlic powder and then i'm gonna use a cap full of this liquid smoke so let me get to cooking we'll be right back what you got to drink there tonight i'm drinking a what is it? Moscow, Moscow mule? Cucumber, cucumber Moscow. Cucumber Moscow mule. Uh -huh. Made with effing cucumber vodka. So yep. Switching it up. As we make our mac and cheese. So. I just went ahead and added the pasta shells to the, uh, to the liner and added the four cups of broth. Now what you want to do is you don't have to submerge it. Just you want to make sure all the pasta is wet. So, so one pound of pasta for four cups of uh, uh, broth is, is about right. Good ratio. All right, so now I've got, got a teaspoon each of uh, ground mustard and garlic powder. That's going on there. And I want a cap full of liquid smoke. Just a cap full, because this is stuff pretty concentrated. All right, make sure your lid is set to the ceiling position. Come down here and hit the, oops, where's the button? Manual button or pressure cook button, whatever is on yours, and bring it up to six minutes. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we cooked it for six minutes on high pressure, and I did a quick release. All right, you'll we'll take a look at it. It's, I mean, it's possible. Perfectly al dente right there. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take my uh, my Gouda cheese that I shredded uh, while this was cooking as best possible. It's kind of soft, so I've got my uh, I've got my my shredded Gouda cheese, smoked Gouda cheese, and I've got my half a box or four ounces of, of cream cheese. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in there and stir it in. Make it gets nice, nice and mm -hmm. melted. That's gonna be good. All done in my pressure cooker. I didn't even need a smoker to make this smoke mac and cheese. I'm gonna get that melted in and we'll show you all the final, the final product. See y'all in a few. All right guys, we got all this melted in there and this is, I mean, really, really good. It's probably one of the best mac and cheese recipes that, mm -hmm. that I have made. Um, again, didn't require a smoker. We, we cooked it all in the, uh, in the pressure cooker. So we're gonna get down to eating. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, we have a Facebook page called Meals Under Pressure, and we offer a free cookbook on that. Um, download the link to the free cookbook on that on that page. So, give us a shout. See y'all next time.